Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a treat. We're making pan de Mallorca. So en esta en esta en este video vamos a estar haciendo un pan de Mallorca. Uh, o vamos a tratar o intentar. So I'm going to simply give you guys the ingredients. To start off, we're going to need one package of yeast. I'm using the rapid rice yeast. We're also going to be using uh, one and a half cups of water plus a half a cup of milk. Now these two I'm going to warm up to about 110 degrees. One and a half cups of granulated sugar. We have eight, yes, you heard me correctly, eight egg yolks. We have two sticks of butter that I have melted and then we're also going to be using a teaspoon of salt and six and a half cups approximately of bread flour if you don't have bread flour then just use uh, AP or all-purpose flour I'm going to say this in Spanish um, para esta receta vamos a estar usando un paquetito de levadura estoy usando de la que se reactiva rápido media taza de, de leche y una taza y media de agua Eso lo voy a unir y lo voy a calentar a 110 grados. No lo caliente mucho. 8 yemas de huevo. Um, oh my God. Quise decir, I meant to say three quarters of a cup of sugar. Tres cuartos de azúcar. So lo hice un poquito más. So es tres cuartos de taza de azúcar. Dos cucharadas, dos barritas de mantequilla derretida. Seis tazas y media de, pan, de harina de pan y una cucharadita de sal. Ahora vamos a empezar. To start off, in my mixer, in my mixer, en mi mezcladora, vamos a echar los huevos, la yema, las yemas de huevos, so the egg yolks. Vamos a echar um, the sugar. I'm going to add the sugar. So, la azúcar, tres cuartos de taza, three quarters of a cup. So, sugar is added. And we're going to add the melted butter so the melted butter goes in there and what we're gonna do is just mix this till combined so we're gonna whisk until it's just combined okay so let, let's 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 just mix it in while that is mientras eso se mezcla I'm gonna take my water and my milk and, and I'm gonna put them together. And I'm going to put it in the microwave just to warm it up. Probably gonna give it about half a minute. Como 30 segundos. And then I'll, I'll test it. So you wanna make sure that your, your liquid, your, your liquid here, quiere estar segura que el líquido no esté muy caliente. You do not want the liquid to be too hot because you will kill the yeast. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna pour the milk in the water and then we're gonna just simply sprinkle the yeast directly into it. And that's it. And then we're gonna let that um, let that sit for a little bit. You're gonna see that it's gonna it's gonna foam a little bit. That's when you know that the yeast is perfect. Vamos a poner el agua y la leche y vamos a calentarla hasta que esté como a 110 grados. Y vamos a ponerle la levadura y dejarla hasta que la levadura se esponje. So we're gonna take that until the yeast uh, mixture. Just feeling it with my finger and I think I still need to warm it just slightly. So hasta que mi levadura esté, van a ver que se esponja. And when it gets spongy, you know that the yeast is active. Le voy a dar medio un poco más because it's still not warm enough. Tenemos nuestra, nuestra leche, we have our milk warm. We're gonna add our yeast packet to this. And what we can do is grab a small whisk. whisk. <laughs> small, y dale un poquito de, give it a little swirl. You know, get that all in there, beautifully. And we're gonna set it aside. And we're not gonna do anything. We're not gonna do anything until this is spongy. In the meantime, get your flour ready. 
if you could see my yeast got a little foamy I'm gonna give it a quick whisk I'm gonna give it a quick quick whisk and I'm gonna put it in here and mix it so vamos a mezclar the eggs with the yeast mixture y vamos a dejar que eso se, se let that mix for a minute with the whisk I'm on low okay from the whisk to the dough hook in a minute so I'm going to start by adding with the whisk I'm going to add one cup two cups of flour and add let that mix. Let it mix, mix, mix. You're gonna stop the machine, bring it down. You're gonna remove the whisk. Ooh, I love the whisk. Stop. We're gonna add the dough hook. Sacamos el, el whisk. Really 
tick. And then we're gonna grab the same bowl so we don't dirty more bowl. I sprayed it. And I'm going to plop it in there. Spray a little bit more on top. Just to let it coat. And we're gonna cover it and let it rise until done. The, the dough has risen some. I'm not letting it rise all the way because after I shape them, I'm gonna let them rise. So I'm just gonna punch the dough down. Okay, and do that. Oh, so snug, please. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna flatten the dough. I don't know you guys can't see very well. And we're gonna cut this dough. So we're gonna cut it into bottom in and we're gonna roll it around it and then when you finish it you're gonna tuck it in that's what you're gonna do you're gonna continue to do the this with the rest of your bread I'll show you one second this is what they look like what we're gonna do now is that we're going to allow these both to double in size and while they're doubling in size, we're going to, it's not gonna double in size, we're gonna let them be here for about mm, half an hour. And preheat your oven to 350, so that way, when you're ready to put them in, you're gonna give them a brush with melted butter and put in the oven for about 25 minutes. So now we simply are going to brush, brush them with a little bit of melted butter. And we're gonna pop at a 350 degree oven. Make sure your oven is preheated for a few minutes. And um, preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes. You wanna keep, you wanna midway through, give them a little spin. And you want them to be nicely cold. You're gonna see, these are amazing. These are a delicacy in Puerto Rico. You can make them a lot bigger. Like I could have made them like double the size, but you only made six and six as well. But we're gonna put it at 350 for 25 minutes. So I'm gonna set the timer for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes, I'll check them. So here you go. And these are,
than six and a half cups of flour. I added probably seven cups of flour to this. Um, you want to play with the dough. Make sure that the dough is still very soft, but it's not sticking to the pan. And that's it. Thanks again for watching. Gracias por quedarse conmigo. Así quedó nuestro nuestro pan de mayorca. Y nos veremos en el próximo video. También quería decir que le eché un aproximado de siete tazas de harina en vez de seis y medio. Um, anyways, gracias por estar conmigo en este video. Y nos vemos en el próximo video. Dios te bendiga. Bye. God bless you guys. Bye.